So what's with the fasting on Yom Kippur? Um, it's a great question. The fasting on Yom Kippur is actually biblically mandated. It is the only mitzvah of Yom Kippur, which is to, to fast on Yom Kippur. So um, fasting is more important than prayer. Fasting is more important than anything. And the fast begins from sundown on the uh, the night of Yom Kippur, also known as Kol Nidre night, etc., which is the end of the ninth day of the month of Tishrei. And that fast goes all the way until three stars come out, nightfall, the following evening. So it's approximately a 25 and a half hour fast. Um, uh, 20, yeah, just, 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 just a little more than 25 hours. So this fast is a, a, a really, really important um, part of, of the Jewish calendar. And because it's biblically mandated, it actually sets some very, very important rules, such as what if a person can't fast? What if they're struggling? Like they want to daven and they want to go to shul or this year we're not going to shul because uh, um, we're in lockdown. But uh, what do I do if I, can't, if I can't fast? I've got so many other spiritual things that I want to do. The answer is put those spiritual things on hold. It is more important to fast than to daven. In fact, it is better to stay in bed fasting than to get up and tie yourself meditating, praying, singing, and dancing. And that is because the Torah wants us to fast. You might say, doesn't this feel very spiritual? Uh, I'd rather um, um, have the energy to pray to God and sing to God and connect with my soul. And I say, well, wouldn't we all? If we could all design our own spirituality, it'd be a lot of fun. But this is a prescribed spirituality. The Torah tells us what Hashem wants of us on Yom Kippur. And that is that we go against our nature. It is human nature to eat when hungry. It is human nature to do what pleasures us. But the whole purpose of Yom Kippur is to actually... Uh, um, um, really explore whether we've been a little bit too human to the point where that we've almost been, animal, uh, almost been animalistic. So what we do is teshuvah. What we want to do is really begin to return to ourselves. And by doing that, we have to actually become a little devoid of the passions and desires that we have as individuals and come to a place of where we can be counter human. And so what we do is we fast. We, 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 we get hungry and we say, doesn't matter. I'm going to push myself. I'm going to practice a discipline because ultimately to create a spiritual reality in this world requires discipline, not um, uh, uh, um, anarchy. Anarchy is not a form of spirituality. And so when we uh, um, spiritually discipline ourselves and say, why am I fasting? Because Hashem wants me to, because my body wants to eat, but my soul is able to govern my decision-making process. And I can govern my decision-making process. I have a moch shal I have the ability for my mind to overcome my impulses and my emotions. That sets a tone for the whole year. God, give me a good year because this year I'm going to try to practice mind over body, mind over emotion. I'm going to try to live a more spiritually conscious life this year than a hedonistically conscious life. Get what I mean?